Hello, this is going to be a tarot and oracle card reading for all signs. So let's get into it and find out what you need to know today. All right, we're going to start off with the fortune cookies deck and find out what this message is going to be about or what the first part of the message will be about. Opportunity is coming your way. I love this first card. An important offer will be made, so be prepared and dress to impress. I feel like I just read this card recently. So if I read it in one of these general collective readings, and obviously somebody here has this coming their way. This is a general collective reading. It is not a personal reading, so you need to use your intuition to know if this is for you or not. If you want a personal, you can get it on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. Okay, so you've got some kind of really important offer coming your way. So if you get any kind of inkling, a tug in your stomach, feeling like I really need, I don't know why, but I need to do this, I need to go here, make sure you are dressed to impress. That's what it says. Okay, so let's find out more. Let's use this quantum oracle, Zach here, to get a little bit more. Tell us more about this situation. What does this offer? Or what else does the person watching need to know? What is this offer gonna be, spirits? Give us more of your lovely divine wisdom, please. We appreciate you. Oh, and if you guys can, go ahead and like, this deserving wants to come out, I'm gonna take it. Like the video and share the video. And at any given time during this reading, if you feel like, I know this is for me, I know what she's talking about, let me know down in the comment section. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell that goes with it. Okay, so this has to do with something in the past, I pro I'm assuming this is in the past. I think the opportunity is coming your way. Um, it was something in the past that you had a conflict with. So, I mean, this could be romance. Um, you had to let go of a situation. Or you had to let go of clinging to it too tightly. We have letting go. So maybe you needed to surrender to the divine. We get that a lot in our readings, right? Um, so you had, you might have had a fight with somebody. There's lots of mountains in the background there. Mountains to me mean challenges. So I feel like you're getting pulled in one direction, um, but you really need to be kind of following your, your own path right now. And these other forces or people were trying to, to pull you in a direction that you weren't meant to go in that moment, in that time, and it might have caused a lot of conflict. Um, but this opportunity is coming your way. Now, I don't know if it's this person or opportunity coming back around. Maybe it just wasn't the right time then. But there, you do have a block, I feel like, here. I feel like you're, there's something blocking this opportunity, and maybe in the past, it presented itself, but you had that block, so you need to remove this block before you can successfully accept this opportunity. So we have the deserving card here. So this is you, your block is you don't feel deserving. It's number six, six is love, so this might be a love situation. It doesn't have to be if that just doesn't resonate with you, but I feel like there's gonna, it's gonna be a beautiful, wonderful opportunity. Very, very, um, there's gonna be a lot of happiness, a lot of peace, abundance for you of love in this situation, but you have to learn to love yourself enough that you feel deserving. Because if you don't, maybe you're not putting yourself out there or maybe you're not trusting somebody when you should. Maybe you have a trigger from a past wound. So that just suggests of you needing to do shadow work. I know we talk about this a lot, but here's your message. You know, your message is that you have this great opportunity coming in, something you might have had to let go of in the past, or it might just be that topic. Maybe you had to let go of a love in the past because you had this block and they're telling you that you're about to get another opportunity, but you got to deal with that block. You got to learn how to love yourself enough and feel deserving. So
So let's look at more what your blocks could be. You know what, I'm gonna save that too for the bonus extended reading. That would actually be really good content for the bonus extended reading. But before we get into the bonus extended reading, let's find out what else you need to know. Let's find out what happens if you remove this block. What is this opportunity? Or what happens if you actually do this work? Work on yourself, do this self-love and remove these blocks. And this is going to be um, long-term here. This is not short term. Short term will be in the bonus extended reading. We'll also do the blocks in the bonus extended reading. <clears throat> and just get some advice on what you need to do in this situation to help this situation along. Maybe some law of attraction cards like we always do. And we'll find out, okay, what's gonna happen with regards to this situation in the next six months to a year sooner. So yeah, you need to walk away from something or you did walk away from something to go on this very spiritual journey, kind of soul searching journey here. Even though this situation had a lot of fire and passion and a lot of emotions, you walked away anyway. For some reason, I guess it wasn't fulfilling you. So you decided I'm gonna go walk away to my happiness here. So there was a conflict you had to let go So we'll work, we'll do some decks about like self-love and what you need to work on, what you can do to work on that self-love in the bonus extended reading along with timing. This is bigger picture here. So the two of pentacles came out, which is just telling me that right now, something about balance. So it could be that you're balancing out the energy between you and another person by you pulling back your feelings. Maybe you were somebody who was too much in your feels, too much, you were the one giving too much. So by walking away and pulling back your feelings, you are helping to balance out the energies between the two of you. Because then as you pull back, that'll pull them in. And so it'll be a little more balanced. And in the past, maybe it wasn't. Maybe you were clinging too tightly and you had to let go. And what happens if you do? Look at this. We have somebody having a lot of options. So you might have a lot of options. This might be this person desiring you, wanting you, fantasizing about you. There might also be a need for you to not see things with your rose colored glasses. So for you to pay attention to red flags, Okay, we also have the death card, which does not mean death, literally. It means transition, transformation, death and rebirth, the ending of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. So by you walking away, you pulling back, you paying attention to your other options, <laughs> you are creating this person to fantasize about you. And that is going to bring about this death and rebirth, this new beginning. And in this new beginning, you are going to go into a new cycle and you're gonna feel on top of the world. You're gonna feel like you're floating in air. It's gonna be amazing. And get your wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. Look at her, her heart chakra is beaming. She's excited, she's got her chest of gold there. Nine means you're close to the end of a cycle. We have seven, eight, nine. So you are progressing, even if it feels like you're not. Okay. Yeah, two, three, four as well. Two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. So you are making progress in this situation towards the end of the cycle here, but you're at a nine. You're not at a 10 yet, but you're close. And in the next new cycle, you'll go into this new cycle where things are gonna change and you're gonna get whatever this opportunity is, whatever this wish fulfillment is. So let's go into the bonus extended reading now to find out if that will come in in the next six months to a year or sooner. And you know, if 
you want to watch the bonus extended, which I'm sure you do. First of all, if this resonates with you, let me know down, down in the comment section. But if you want to watch the rest of this reading and get the extra details of when, how to make sure that you bring in this wish fulfillment, because this is not set in stone. Until it happens, no tarot card reading set in stone. The energy could shift. So let's find out what's blocking you. What do you need to work on? For whoever this is for, what does spirit have to say? What does the energy have to say today? What else do we need to know will happen in the next six months to a year or sooner? Maybe we'll even get some messages of what this person is thinking or feeling about you right now. So go down below, click the link that takes you to my Patreon. If you want a personal reading instead or after you watch the bonus extended, you can get it on my website. Link is also down below, www.bossswitch1111.com. So I will go there now to the bonus extended and we're gonna dig into this, maybe even get some charms. I haven't done that in a while and really find out more about the situation. What else do you need to know? I'll see you there.